So first of all, uh, let's start with uh, Lucas. Uh, so Lucas uh, Krebel, who joins us from the New Economics Foundation, where he's uh, a senior economist. So he works on monetary and fiscal policy. Um, and as part of that is also looking at greening central banks, which seems relevant uh, in the light of today's discussion. So Lucas, you're, you're coming at this from a, a macroeconomics perspective. And I saw there was one question which asked about um, whether there is any moral hazard in this proposal potentially for the, the uh, I guess, the finance industry. Um, maybe you could kick off by telling us whether what you've heard so far and does it sound like a, a great idea? Should we be worried? Are there uh, obvious, um, yeah, financial risks, traps, uh, things in there that could mean it ends up blowing up in our faces, or should we embrace it with open arms? You're still muted. Right, should work now. Uh, thanks, Sonia, yeah, and thanks, Peter, for for hosting this this event. Um, yeah, so so uh, in terms of like any hidden issues potentially of this proposal, uh, so I wouldn't be that concerned about that because I think it's a very well thought out proposal that comes with <clears throat> safeguards and uh, you know some some ideas to verify it, like you know the mortgage portfolio standards. And, you know the report covers a lot of uh, ground about how how whether the lending goes into the right direction can be actually verified and validated. So I think that the risks there. That there are maybe some edge cases and i mean you know we cannot prevent like uh, uh, anything bad happen but like overall i think it's a pretty robust proposal and also i mean we need to consider what is the risk of not not doing something of, um, like this program what is the risk of not doing like a massive renovation wave in the eu and what the impact will have on, on climate as well as you know on household bills or like you know not reducing our dependence on, on russian gas or generally on fossil fuels so i think the risks are very much on the side of not doing program of this type to, to deliver this retrofitting wave uh, and I think, you know, this uh, proposal, you know, it, it involves, you know, a lot of, uh, as Peter outlined, existing instruments and so on that just need to be put together. Uh, and then the report analyzes quite nicely how this can be done. So I think, you know, there can be a strong uh, governance framework set up to ensure that, you know, and uh, already small risk can be like minimized. So I, I see it as a strong, strong proposal. And is there is there anything you'd say that should be built in from the start to to avoid uh, or to minimize the, the risks that are there? I know you said that the greatest risk is not doing anything, uh, but is there anything that should be, I guess, that, that we haven't heard yet today that you would add and say, we must make sure to build that into the design from the start? Yeah, so I mean, I think that the one element that needs to be, be strong is like, uh, so we have the element of the European Central Bank providing liquidity to commercial banks to then lend on, create those loans and, and so on. So we know obviously with the banking system, the private banks, they sometimes tend to misuse their money, engage in you know, uh, either greenwashing activities or just misusing the funds completely. So I think what, what we need there is just you know a strong verification framework that the ECB needs to keep their, their eyes on the game on what the banks are doing and ensure you know they can you know spot check and like you know regularly control that the banks are actually using the money uh, in the way they should be doing so i think that's very important to, to bring it uh, uh up front uh, okay okay yeah that's clear um